What is up guys, this is Kiran here. Welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. If you're looking for a perfect Android 10 based custom room which is available for your device as a perfect daily driver room, I have and this is called Paranoid Android Quads 5. I know a lot of devices already got that and they are using this and right now I have used it on, I'm using it on my Mi 12 device called Redmi Note 9 Pro Cortana. You can use it on Redmi Note 9S, you can use it on Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9, Redmi Note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 pro these are the devices in which you can install this paranoid android room a lot of you guys already know that this room does not come with any customizations but how this is great i'm gonna share with you a lot of things regarding this now make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started are you guys talking about some details about this build? This is Paranoid Android Quads 5 which is based on Android version 10 as you can see Paranoid Android version is Quads 5 Dev and with the September security patch which is kind of little bit of old security patch not actually the best old you can see the Google Play system update is 10 kernel version is have perf plus with this build number you can see this is a Mia tool so yes you can install this on any of your Mia tool devices Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9S or Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. If we want to talk about Paranoid Android features, every device which has a Paranoid Android or has almost same kind of things out there. Talking about the default launcher, we have the Paranoid launcher pre-installed which has the custom icon pack support which is very interesting. Not all the custom launchers, not all the launcher have this support by default. We also have some developer options which has very cool kind of things. I've tried one thing and that was working great and these are the things you get here. Talking about the quick settings. as it has almost everywhere a green kind of UI as expected and talking about the things which are working or which are not Wi-Fi hotspot Bluetooth and almost everything which I have tried so far is working great I didn't got any issues till now which is amazing and these are the some reasons behind using this build and the default UI looks amazing too going for other things we have the widgets with the home settings and if you go for the styles and wallpapers and if you go for the on device wallpapers we have a lot of wallpapers pre installed which are amazing you can use any other wallpapers also if you want to you can apply any wallpaper right now from here by clicking on set wallpaper and these are offline so you don't need internet connection for that for these wallpapers to apply on a device we also have these cool kind of widget out there that looks impressive and I'm using it from approximately past 72 hours now and it's working great it's working really really smooth going for the other things we have the ANX camera, abstract wallpaper, ANX scanner. These are the some things which you get pre-installed going for the abstract. We have a lot of wallpapers. If you have saw my review for Paranoid Android Quads 5 in my Redmi Note 8, you already know about these kind of things. And now we have installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is amazing. We have OnePlus wallpapers. We have this official AOSPA wallpapers, the digitalized pay painterly painterly madness as you can see there are a lot of things out there you can try out if you want to moving on to other things we also have the anx camera which is a miui 12 camera pre-installed so if you want to try, try it out these miui 12 camera clicks you can use that if you're using a custom room and want to install this miui 12 camera this is one of the best options out there and this is the anx camera pre-installed if you're looking for anx camera which is pre-installed in this build yes you should definitely go for this build and try it out right now on your device the link for this build is in the description if you want to try it out you can go directly and right now i am using the latest magic v 21.0 it's not 20.3 it's not 20.4 it's magic v 21.0 unfortunately i don't have the safety net status passed so cts is not passed i have no issues in banking apps by the way because i don't use them and if you use them this might be the issue for you so if you want to try out some banking apps you may need to think about this build to install or not let's move on to the settings and talk about some different things about this build as i already told you that this room does not come with any major customizations as expected but according to me the battery backup is perfect 
Screen usage since full charge is 7 hours and 17 minutes and it's from 90%. Let me show you my battery graph. This is from 90% and 60% battery drainage with 7 hours and 17 minutes of screen usage full charge. As you can see last full charge is 25 hours ago and yes it's more than 25 hours and I didn't try charging my phone. I didn't plug in my phone yet and this is working great. If you want a perfect battery backup room you should go for this paranoid android quads 5 right now on your device running any like if you're using redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 pro and these kind of things you should definitely try out this thing if on installation it's quite easy you can use the twrp pitch black i think these recoveries should work too but i probably mostly use redmi actually lineage OS recovery so if you also want to try out lineage OS recovery you can go the link for that recovery is also in the description if you want other things we have the battery style options available so if you want battery bar we can use that one if you want battery circle you can choose that one so has these kind of minor kind of things available going for the display we have the styles and wallpapers so you can simply go to styles and wallpaper if you like any other style you can simply choose that one too like i have just tried to apply the red one so i think that should work too and i think that's working yes you can see the default extractor and these kind of things are working too colors you can customize and pulse icon manager a little bit of things here and there other things no extra things are out there even no face lock but yes fingerprint is available i also don't use the face lock at all let me show you one more thing if i swipe down from here you will see my quick settings will open and if i swipe down from here i will see my quick settings right now that will see my notification things you will see all the quick settings these are the gestures which you can customize if you want to by default that looks amazing other things kind of the same xiaomi parts have a little bit of things like the fps info overlay the backlight dimmer and a little bit of things these are the things i just want to share with you so this was all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye